The Badger State is home to four species of checker spot butterflies, three in the genus Clocine and the fourth in Euphidrius. Checker spots, most closely related to the patches and crescents, are included in the true brushfoots, a subgroup in the brushfoots, a large group that includes many of the charismatic, colorful creatures we see in the warmer months. Identification problems arise most commonly in the field when checker spots fly alongside the relatively common crescents, most notably the pearl crescent in the southern part of the state and the northern crescent cleverly found in the north. All feature vivid orange coloration with dark browns and blacks and paler colors intermixed. All appear smaller than monarchs and the larger fritillaries, though are incomparable in size to metal fritillaries and other lesser frits. To start our study, we'll look at the outlier, the vibrant Baltimore checker spot, which allegedly gains its name from having colors similar to the family crest of the founders of Maryland, the Lords Baltimore. I myself don't really see the resemblance, but wouldn't want to upset Baltimore Oriole fans of either stripe. Anyway, this beautiful butterfly boasts a checkerboard pattern of orange and white on a black background. Wing margins show orange spots outlined in black surrounding white crescents. In flight, Baltimore checker spots appear nearly black. When they land, though, their identification should be quite easy. Nobody else looks quite like them. In Wisconsin, the Baltimore caterpillars use white turtle head for a host plant. So the species is strongly related to quality wetlands, the only places I've seen it, though it can be found throughout the state in June and early July. In Maryland, researchers report that their Baltimores are using plantain as turtle head populations are in decline. Swibba has an annual field trip to Pleasant Valley Conservancy in western Dane County with the primary purpose of seeing this remarkable butterfly. The other three checker spots, the Gorgone, the Silvery, and Harris's, appear as predominantly orange above with black patterning and are most easily distinguished from below. The Gorgone, predominantly a species of the Great Plains, has island populations sprinkled east and west of this home territory, and populations in those islands fluctuate greatly with the enigmatic flyer disappearing for years and coming back. Our key Wisconsin population flies in May in the barrens around Black River Falls. It's the smallest of our checker spots and has what I consider a psychedelic patterning on its underside, a marbling of faded browns and white with black spots, and a white-brown fringe at the wing margins. Harris's and silvery checker spots often fly at the same time together, so distinguishing them may be the most important key to correctly identifying them. They can both be found in the northeastern United States into Canada, with the silvery being found as far south as Georgia and Texas, while Harris is only as far south as Pennsylvania and Ohio. For identification purposes, we're going to look first at the northern crescent. From above, crescents look like checker spots. A reliable field mark, though, can be found in the string of brown dots inside the brown strip at the wing margin. Crescents lack any orange or yellow coloring within these brown spots. From below, the crescents of Wisconsin are primarily a uniform orange with some dark spots around the forewing. Now, looking at the silvery checker spot from above, we find yellow coloring inside one or more of the dark spots in the row. Finding that coloring allows you to eliminate crescents from consideration. Harris's yellow coloration, if found, is at the top of the brown spots, while the silveries is in the center. I should also mention that the Gorgon sports three white dots at the forewing tip that the other species lack. Let's look from below to master telling the Harris's from the silvery. First, the silvery has a pale orange to whitish underside on the hind wing, with a vague patch of darker coloration. Harris's, though, has distinct orange areas separated from white. At the hind wing margin, the silvery does not have a complete band of chevrons, while Harris's does. Gorgone and silvery checker spots use various asters as host plants, while Harris's is more particular employing flat-topped aster. 
Doelingeria embolata, which can be found throughout the state, favoring moist woods and meadows. This specialization by the species may explain why Harris's are not found in southern states where the silvery flies. While some report that silvery checker spots are rarely found in large numbers, I did come across a population I estimated at 950 individuals on June 9, 2023, near an Oconto County wetland. The checker spots have not received the attention that their larger and more obvious cousin butterflies have. But these are tough, respectable species that dare to brave in larval form our rugged winters, unlike the migratory species. That alone makes these winged warriors worth checking out.